Hello everybody, I am Mizbah, your Maths Educator and we are over here with some M MCQs on the chapter Polynomials. So let's start with it. So if 1, 0 of the quadratic polynomial x square plus 3x plus p is minus 1, then the value of p you have to find. You have got this quadratic polynomial x square plus 3x plus p. Suppose the name of this polynomial is you can take anything. Suppose I am taking it g of x, right? x square plus 3x plus p. And it is given that minus 1 is a 0 of this polynomial. Now what is the meaning of 0 of a polynomial? It means that if you put the value of variable equal to minus 1 in the polynomial, the value of the polynomial will itself become equal to 0. So over here just put x is equal to minus 1 in the polynomial. That is equal to 0 over here. Now from here what is this guys? This is 1 minus 3 plus p is equal to 0. If you simplify this will give you minus 2 plus p is equal to 0 or you can say p is equal to 2. So out of the given options p is equal to 2 is the answer. I hope it is clear to you. So let us take the next question. If one zero of this polynomial is negative of the other, you have to find the value or values of k because you don't know. One zero is negative of the other. So let's do it guys. Suppose one zero is alpha, the other zero is negative of it. That is minus alpha, right? So whenever you get a question like this, that one zero is negative of the other, you have to take sum of the zeros. So sum of the zeros over here is equal to minus b by a, you know that in a quadratic polynomial sum of the zeros is equal to minus b by a. Now over here you see that alpha and minus alpha it will get cancelled out so that is equal to 0. So minus b upon a. So if you cross multiply can I say that b is equal to 0? Clear? Now what is b? b is the coefficient of x. So this is b right? That is minus 7k plus 49 that is equal to 0 over here. So if you solve this simple equation over here, you will get k is equal to minus 7. So k is equal to minus 7 is the answer. I hope it is clear to you. So let us move on to the next question over here. If one zero of this quadratic polynomial is reciprocal of the other, you have to find the value of k. So in the previous question, we did that one zero is negative of the other. So every time you will take some of the zeros in that case. Over here, one zero is reciprocal of the other. It means if one zero is alpha, the other zero is one by alpha. So whenever you get this, you have to do the product of zeros. And you know that for a quadratic polynomial, product of zeros is equal to c by a. Now you see this will get cancelled out. So if you cross multiply, you'll get c is equal to a. Clear? Now what is c? c is the constant term. So it is minus 7k and what is a over here? a is the coefficient of x square, right? So that is k square plus k, k square plus k. So if you further simplify, what will you get? You will get k square plus 8k that is equal to 0. You can take k as common. So k plus 8 will be left that is equal to 0. So you see two values of k they are possible over here. k can be equal to 0 and k can be equal to minus 8. Now you will say that both of the uh, values are the answer? No. Because you see if you take k is equal to 0 over here, the coefficient of x square will become equal to 0 which is not possible. Because then this quadratic equation will not remain a quadratic equation because the coefficient of x square can never be equal to 0. So you cannot take k is equal to 0 over here, right? But you can take k is equal to minus 8. So therefore, only k is equal to minus 8 is the answer. I hope it is clear to you. Let us take the next question. Let p be a prime number, the quadratic polynomial having its zeros as factors of p is. Just try doing this. So see, p is a prime number. What are the factors of a prime number? It is 1 and the number itself because it's a prime number. So the two factors of this uh, value, this number p is 1 and p. So what is the uh, quadratic polynomial? It is x square minus sum of the zeros into x plus product of the zeros, right? 
but this is not the only quadratic polynomial possible because we have discussed these things uh, in the board brahmastra series on the infinity learn grade 9 and 10 youtube channel this is not the only polynomial possible infinitely many polynomials are possible where k is any real number any non zero real number right so the polynomial will be k can be anything x square minus some of the zeros will be what 1 plus p or you can say p plus 1 into x and product of zeros over here will be p into 1 that is p itself so you have to check that out of these options which option is matching over here so you see third option will match because if you will take 2 as common you will get x square minus p plus 1 into x plus p so therefore you can say this is a polynomial out of the given options you are working whose zeros are 1 and p so therefore this is the answer i hope it is clear okay so let's do one more question over here you have got a quadratic polynomial x square plus x minus 3 and you have to find the value of alpha by beta plus beta by alpha where alpha and beta are the zeros of this quadratic polynomial so you know they will for sure give you a polynomial which will not have real zeros you will not be able to find its zeros because they want you to manipulate this expression so can we take the lcm over here so we'll get alpha square plus beta square by alpha beta over here clear now you see you don't know the values of alpha and beta separately so what you can do you have to manipulate this expression right so alpha square plus beta square can be written as alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 alpha beta divided by alpha beta clear now what is alpha plus beta guys alpha plus beta is minus b by a for a quadratic polynomial and alpha beta is c by a this is c by a so just put the values and simplify so minus b by a will be what b is nothing but 1 the coefficient of x so it will be minus 1 by 1 the whole square minus 2 and what is c c is the constant term that is minus 3 so it is minus 3 and coefficient of x square is 1 so this is again minus 3 by 1 so if you simplify you will get 1 plus 6 by minus 3 so this will give you minus 7 by 3 so this is the answer over here any doubt in this question i hope it is clear so these are the mcqs which we needed to discuss in this chapter